good morning yes 11 o'clock welcome to a new week welcome to a new vlog my name's Nicola if you're new here if you're not welcome back I'm going make up free today because I've got mask acne can you see how can you not see and I'm giving it a break so um, I'm giving my skin a break today so my jobs today well my job is to sort out the garage um, I might have a look at sorting out the studio and giving it a bit of a clean as well but we'll see how my spoon level goes um, I've also printed something off for the family about Poppy's ADHD oh that sun look at it it's so bright it's so bright it's blinding um, let me show you so Poppy wanted the all our family just to sort of be a bit more aware of things with her ADHD um, and this is a little cartoon that's on Instagram and it's really good and I've printed off um, several of them and I'm going to laminate them and attach them together for like friends and family to see so it's just a bit more helpful so they can understand her condition a bit more but first to be blinded by the sun and to go in the garage and get it sorted it's very windy today apparently um, up north they've got I don't know what accent that was they've got a lot of um, like gale force winds today and we've just got the the ends of it so at least we haven't got the gales but it, it's windy and it's very sunny and I'm gonna go in the garage Nicola of the future here just wanted to add in as I'm editing this right I forgot to tell you that the girls got hold of the camera and recorded a piece for you on Friday I believe it was while I was at the osteopath so I want to insert that now um, and then I will go back to my Saturday so enjoy Right, I'm in the garage. This is before. So we've got this situation. I'm going to sort all that out, all this out. We've got this situation. Now, I was thinking of getting some of those stackable um, wine bottle holders, you know. Well, I can't do that today because I haven't got them. But I'm thinking of ordering some and having all the bottles in. I don't know. I don't want them all to fall out, though. And then we've got this situation. I've got all my cleaning stuff ready. And um, all that needs emptying. This is like the bucket that we put empty cans and bottles in. Um, these have to stay here because these are all my DVDs, which are not going anywhere. 
and then we have this situation <laughs> and all these shelves need sorting as well so what I do love is this look at this so any Harry Potter fan will know what that's from and I absolutely love it and then this for those long-term viewers will remember this come came from the old house which um, was on the wall by our downstairs toilet but there's nowhere in unfortunately in the bungalow for this to go so that's why it's here but I still I see it every day because I'm always in here um, getting like stuff from the fridge and freezer so I love that and this is a picture of when we went to Florida and this is TJ our American friend at the time he worked at Universal Studios and yeah look look at little pops and holes um holly's still taller than me at that age. <laughs> that's not hard so yeah we're with a, a transformer here and he tj arranged for us to have this photo in this massive poster frame thing um so yeah that's that's in pride of place we don't actually use that microwave anymore that was for the guinea pigs when we owned guinea pigs we used to heat up their heat pad when it was cold but we don't use it but I will leave it there in case like anything happens to our one in the kitchen or you know if anyone needs a microwave really and then this is the studio you could just see me in the reflection this is Poppy's den I mean it is Holly's as well but Holly never uses it it's mainly Poppy it's freezing in here so she's got her drum kit she's got a punch bag um she's got the harry potter stuff on the walls and all her badges oh i need to put a hook up today for this she got this um from santa for christmas so we need to put that up this is to write um music on if she wants to create music or oh, is a bit cobwebby up there i need to do that um she's got some pictures on the walls we are let me have a look at that today remind me she wants a little um, sofa here that could maybe be a sofa bed. Um, so I'm going to look on the, you know, the Facebook sale site things um, and have a look. And it may be eBay because we just want a little sofa in there because these bean bags have had it, as you can see. Um, well, they're they're two years old. They're not that old, but she's in here a lot. So, and it needs a bit of a repaint look got a bit dirty where they've been leaning against the wall um that needs sorting out and then all this needs a bit of sorting out so and she's got a telly up there more posters um so yeah it's a really cool little hangout room for them um but it needs sorting out as well but i see i will see how my spoons go i don't want to mess myself up um so anyway Let's get cracking and I'll show you in a bit when I've done something. <laughs> Can I just say, I've literally moved some paint cans and I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm looking at this thinking, how, how, why? It does need doing, but oh my goodness. All I've done so far is moved, sorted through these paint, these ones we don't need. But these ones we need to keep and I've put some up there and some down there and then these buckets we need because I use that bucket for gardening and the one underneath is for Holly's fish tank but yeah that's it and I'm shattered <laughs> okay the wind's getting worse out there <sighs> and my spoons are diminishing I'll show you what I've done so far and it feels like I haven't done a lot so excuse the uh, the bowl of dirty water but I've cleaned all this top and then stacked all the drinks but I still want some way of displaying them better. If you've got any ideas let me know apart from those wine holder things but some of them you can't have the wine holder things if they've got like a stopper in or something like this I'd worry might leak. Um, but I don't know, it looks really bad. That is the leftover from Christmas and Holly's party. So don't think we get through that in a week or something. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to tackle this. Why do we keep so much toot? I mean, look, it's just toot. 
it's just to that's not that's my card box that i use every month and some of it is for the garden but it's just tut 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 right i've just found two videos village fate and the white cat these were when i was on stage um in like uh amateur dramatics called the kelvin players and i would love to watch these and cringe but they're on video so i really needed to get them converted onto dvd because uh, we don't have a video player and we have got this converted though this was our our um our wedding video look at us my hair i hated it i absolutely hated it mark looks about 10 um yeah so this was our wedding video which i obviously won't get rid of but again i'm just going to put them back in the cupboard the toot is going back in the toot cupboard <laughs> Right, this is it. I've hung the bags up there, and that's some bags for presents and things. I have sorted out under here, believe it or not. You know, like, I've done my best. That's all I can do. Uh, welly boots are hanging up there. All the cupboards are done, sorted. Um, all the shelves are done. All the wine glasses are done. I hung my nan's picture. My nan made this tapestry um, and I've been meaning to hang it somewhere. So I hung that there. I know it may still look a mess, but it's a lot better than it was. And now I'm done. Morning, this has got a bit, no. Yeah, it is. Um, it's Sunday, it's got to be a quick one because we're going out. We're just off to meet um, Mark's mum, dad, sister and Mitch for lunch at the garden centre where Holly works. Um, my neck's really bad. <laughs> it's so painful. And it's giving me a headache. So the osteopath has done nothing but make it worse. Wonderful. Anyway, let's go. Right, we've finished um, lunch. Just got chewing gum because I can taste red onion. Um, it was very nice. But sometimes I feel like it's not appropriate to film. Like we're having a nice lunch with the family. They don't want me to whack the camera out, you know. So, hence why I haven't filmed that. And now we're heading off to get the car washed. Right. <laughs> we know how to live on a Sunday, don't we? That's one word for it. What else we got to do today? We've got to clean the bog. Clean the bog. Yeah. Right, really, yeah. is there, I'm sure there's something else on the list. I'll clean the microwave. Oh yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, the car is filthy. We didn't have it cleaned that long ago, but because of the, the road, isn't it? all of the stuff on the roads and our number plate is getting because it's illegal if you can't read a number plate, and I just worry. So we're just just going to take it through the little car wash. It's only about three quid. Um, go and do that, and then you've got to run into Tesco's to get a couple of bits for holes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm still worn out from doing the garage yesterday. <laughs> that was a big job. Oh, but, oh, shut up. But no, it was worth it. It was worth it. So, let's go to the car wash. Woo! Mark's popped into Tesco's. And I thought, um, I would update you on the osteopath. Because I don't think I have done that yet. Um, actually, I really need a wee as well. I have to wait now. <laughs> um yeah so i went on friday to the osteopath and he made me feel really uncomfortable um he said he kept saying about doing the keto diet and i thought right okay i know i'm overweight i understand that but i struggle to lose weight i don't overeat and due to medication and you know your metabolism being slower with fibro 
I don't want to do the keto diet. I don't want to do any diet. I want to do just healthy eating. Anyway, he kept throwing this keto diet at me, which made me feel even more self-conscious because he said, oh, are you comfortable to take your top off and strip down to your bra? And I was like, okay. Um, he'd left the blinds open as well, so everyone outside could see me in my bra, which was really great. He did shut them eventually. And um, then he was just sorting out my back and my shoulders and my neck. Um, manipulated it and massaged it and you know did everything he had to do and then he was talking about this other person let me see if I can find it Hang on. oh here we go he wrote it on a bit of paper the Wim Hof method and Dr Tamdin so the Wim Hof method apparently is something about sticking yourself in freezing cold temperatures and the Dr. Tamdin is someone in London who specialises in herbal medicine. Now, I'm into that, but I am going to research both and I will let you know. But I felt like saying, look, I'm here for my neck, not for fibromyalgia advice. Which kind of, I know he was only trying to help, but he wasn't, um, if you see what I mean. But anyway, I will research both of those things and let you know. But since I've had the osteopath... Okay, someone's dressed for a wedding over there and they're in Tesco's. That's a bit weird. Um, oh, she might have been to church, mightn't she? Yeah, since I've been to the osteopath, my neck has been a lot worse. The pain has been worse. My head hurts. I feel dizzy. So I'm due to see him again in two weeks. But if it carries on being this bad I might have to phone up and say look you just made it worse mate <laughs> and uh and see what he says but yeah at the moment it hasn't helped <laughs> so ow um I'm just gonna wait for Mark to get back and then go and get the car cleaned so it's busy at the car wash as we thought it would be but it soon goes through doesn't it yeah it's quite quick here yeah it's quite good quite so good. we're just going for a basic wash they take your money and then they stick this little note on the windscreen that's going to blow off in a minute telling them what wash you've paid for because there's lots of different options but we just want to wash don't we well we don't want to wash we've no, had a wash had a wash yeah <laughs> Is exhausting Monday. Um, it's very windy. Can you hear it? It's like, well, they're supposed to, like I said yesterday, have gales up north and we've got the brunt end of it, so goodness knows what it's like up north. I know, Irene, you live up north, sorry if you're suffering with lots of gale force winds and things, but it's windy here too. Um, anyway, that I'll be blown around taking Evie to the green later. But Evie loves it. She's just asked to go out again. She stands there and like likes the wind in her fur. She's just like, oh, it's quite nice. Odd dog. <laughs> right, I've got a lady coming to pick up some doorknobs in a minute. And then we're going to go and get Poppy's guitar fixed because it's lost a string. Um, I coloured my hair this morning. Can you see how red it is? Oh my God, look at the light. Look how red it is. It was that bright red one I used. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> so I did that finally. My neck, touch wood, touch everything, is feeling better today than yesterday. Yesterday it was so painful, like right under my skull at the base. Oh my goodness, I didn't know what to do with myself. But today it's feeling a bit better, so that's good. Um, I want to sort my craft stuff out today because I can't find my, my glue. I put, because at Christmas, we put our Christmas tree in front of my craft cupboard. So I have to remove all my craft boxes, put them in the shed, and the stuff's got all mi mixed up. So it all needs sorting out, and I can't find anything. That door knocking because of the wind is really annoying me. <laughs> oh, and let me show you. I got 
hair colour on the I wasn't even in here I wasn't even in here colouring my hair I was in the en suite and it, I think it must have been on my foot and I can't get it out because I don't know about you but I can't scrub my my hands aren't strong enough to scrub so I'm literally gonna have to leave it for Mark I hope he gets it out <laughs> anyway I need to get on so I will catch you later a bit later we had a bit of um let me come away from the window because it's a bit bright isn't it we had a bit of a nightmare we had a bit of a road trip actually it wasn't much of a nightmare it was, we were trying to find somewhere to repair Poppy's guitar um, we ended up at one place and couldn't find it. The sat nav kept saying, you have arrived at your destination. And we're like, no, we haven't because we cannot find it. Tried to phone the person and he wasn't answering. So then we went to another place, which was another 20 minute drive. And they were shut to phone them. And they said, oh, we're not doing repairs anymore, but you can go to this bloke because he's doing repairs. Phoned him. He was lovely. And um, another 20 minute drive. <laughs> all this time I hadn't eaten anything I was starving <laughs> so we went and dropped the guitar off that's going to be about 49 pounds and it's going to be fixed all up nicely and cleaned and look beautiful um yeah so that was that we left it there he was really nice and then I said to Poppy let's get a McDonald's I'm so hungry <laughs> this was like up as one so we went through drive through McDonald's I know it's naughty but it's a treat it's a treat um and it means that I only have to cook Mark's dinner tonight because the girls are going out tonight as well. So that's good. <laughs> um, what am I doing now? I don't know. Got blown away outside. Oh my goodness, it was still windy. It, it actually probably looks like I haven't moved from this spot because I filmed this spot this morning, but never mind. So I'm now going to sort out my craft. I haven't got the spoon. My shoulder hurts. This one. Um, and yes, I should probably sit my bum down and have a rest. Am I going to? No. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What is the time? Hold on. It is five past eleven. It is Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday. And I've just filmed a PIP. Oh, God. The thing is, PIP tips and advice video and I'm really nervous about it because my last PIP video I made was very 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 popular but I had a lot of nasty comments that I had to keep deleting <laughs> so I don't do hate I don't do and no one has the right to make me feel rubbish and all I'm ever doing is trying to help everybody so yeah I'm just hoping that I don't get lots and lots of horrible comments and that I have to just keep going delete, delete, delete. <laughs> and also, if you ever see, not that I have any nasty comments on my weeklies because you lot are so lovely, um, but if you do ever see a nasty comment on one of my videos or anything, oh, look at that, I need to clip that up, um, you can report it. There's a little icon next to the comment if I haven't deleted it already um, and you click on that and it says report and you just report it so you can do that I've done that on someone's channel before where I've thought that's not very nice I'm going to report that but yeah let's just hope I get nice comments and not nasty ones because I'm just trying to help that's all I'm doing <laughs> people can be so mean anyway so it's very windy still windy windy willows out there uh, Mark's not got work, much work today so he's gone for a bike ride because he's training, he's doing the London to Brighton bike ride in June so he's training for that at the moment um, little dog's asleep over there in the sun in my seat Oop. and I'm going out today a bit later after lunch with Poppy, my mum and dad we're going to go to a museum we've been before but it's it's quite cute it's a small it's not a massive museum but it's cute and then we're going to go for a cup of tea afterwards so you can obviously come with us I don't I think I can film in the museum I don't think there's a no filming thing unless it's like a protected thing you know 
from lights and things but I don't use the flash on here so I should be able to take you with me um, shoulder hurts today had a bad night actually I was in bed by Hopper State because my pain started spiralling because you know what I did too much didn't I yesterday yes I did you were all shouting it at me I know but I was pleased with what I got done so I do feel a bit tired now <laughs> so we couldn't go to the museum so we couldn't park car so we're in Aldi's <laughs> how about one of these look at that it's a little stool dog stool 17.99 so cute we're in the special buys special buys aisle interesting bit. <laughs> the interesting bit how you doing anything catch your eyes like a jumble sale isn't it looks like a jumble sale oh mum's found something friends is still popular isn't it oh look get that for pops harry potter double duvet set 15 pounds we're sitting outside <laughs> mum's eating hers um because they've got like a wake on um in the actual tea room Dead <laughs> so we're we're having our tea and cake outside freezing a bit off but I've gone for a, a caramel slice. Dad's gone for air. It's been good. It's been good. Well done. <laughs> Mum's eaten half of hers. Victoria's sponge. Very nice. It's been bad. <laughs> I'm being bad. You're <laughs> wicked. Good morning. It is wash towel Wednesday today. Wash towel Wednesday. They're all, they're in the washing machine. Um. It's not as windy out there today, so I think I might attempt a little bit of gardening. Not too much, just a little bit of pruning and, and tidying up out there. Um, Mark's off again today because he hasn't got um, the work because of who he works with. So he is doing some painting in the hall out here. There he is at the end. He's painting all the skirting boards because they need touching up, don't they? Yeah. Yes, and the loft hatch. If you remember, we put the loft ladder in there, so that needs painting too. So he's taped it all up, and that's his job today. Um, Evie is being the queen that she is, aren't you? On as many blankets as she can find. <laughs> right, have me gardening bucket. And I've got these that I'm going to um, put in today because you can sew them from February, where did it say? From February to June, for blooms from June to October. Um, shake, rake and water. And then I've also got some of these, pastel flower garden. And then a packet of these if I want them as well. So I've got um, everything ready to to put in and then hopefully we'll have a nice selection of um, wild flowers in the summer and that's going to happen down here because if you remember sorry if you don't like gardening but um, me mum and dad took out my hostas which are in there and over there because uh, the snails kept eating them so I'm going to sprinkle all those in here I'll have to get my rake right I need to stop <sighs> Run out of spoons, run out of paint tolerance. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I found a tennis ball as well, look. Found a tennis ball. Evie will not like that because she does not like balls, so I'll give that to Maisie. So I've planted all the, well, not planted, I sprinkled the seeds on, and then I've just put some compost over the top, and I've put some down here as well, and tidied that area up. Um, there's a lot that I've got to do in the garden this year all this well not just me mark as well all this log roll needs replacing because it's all gone rotten um all of that needs cutting trimming and this and this so we need to have a day of it really and we need to sort out the bar because for the summer it needs a good clean um and yeah i just need to organize it a bit better 
because it's just looking a bit sad really i would like to get some permanent lights because we've got like solar lights but i want to get some like plug-in lights so we can have it lit all every summer night so we can just come out and get a drink when we want to hello i am it's still wednesday i'm what am i doing in the car waiting for hole she's got an appointment so i've brought her for that and in a minute we're going to go into town and just have a little wander around which will be really nice because it's holly's day off so i like to try and spend some time with her unless she's obviously busy doing her own things um so that's what i'm doing at the moment i've just edited some of my pip video but my laptop died the battery doesn't last very long when it's not plugged in um it's classic hp laptop that's what they do but i'm trying to look for some perfume because my car smells i really need to get a new air freshener but i don't think i've got any perfume with me oh well it'll just have to smell won't it <laughs> lovely anyway hopefully we'll be going into town soon <laughs> right we're in town and holly's treating me to tea and cake so she's got what have you got a drink to drink americano and i've got a cup of tea and holes is having scone jam and cream and then i'm having brownie but we're gonna we might do half each won't we let's see <laughs> it's cute very cute good morning it is weird thursday all day feeling pretty tired today and got a headache <laughs> My neck is still really bad and my shoulder. Um, I think I'm gonna cancel my next osteo appointment with that company, wherever I went, because I don't think it's helped and he made me feel so uncomfortable in more ways than one that I'm going to not go back. Um, my dad has recommended somewhere else for me, but at the moment, I just don't think I'm gonna go anywhere. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't made my mind up what I'm going to do. But it still hurts and it's still giving me headaches. So, there's that. <laughs> but I'm going to do sitting down today. I'm going to do sitting. I'm going to catch up on... Oh, what is that programme? So, it's a spin-off from Downton Abbey. Um, let me put Teddy on and I'll tell you. Because I can never remember the name of it. So I'm going to watch that. And I'm going to watch some YouTube. And I'm going to edit the weekly so far. But I try to have Thursdays. As my rest day. Right let's just see if it's on here. The Gilded Age. That's it. Oh, mute it. The Gilded Age. Has anyone seen that? It's on Sky I think. Sky Atlantic. So if you haven't seen it check it out but yeah i try to have thursdays as my rest day because otherwise you know you need i need a rest day i need a rest day <laughs> i do have quite a busy life as you could probably see um i like to be busy i don't want to sit around because that's just not me um but i do need a day like today when my body's telling me you need to rest and I kind of need to listen to it. So I will be having a rest day. I might do some pebbles later. That might be quite nice to do. But I do want to paint some first before I put the pens on them. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm just going to chill out, really. Right, I just wanted to show you what I have made today while I've been having my rest day. Um, so I wanted to make a little bee embroidery for my stepmum's birthday in march because she likes the little bees that i i do so i'll show you so this is what i've um i've made this afternoon i stitched him on there i really wanted to embroider be happy but i haven't got the room because of the the hard frames like around so i haven't got room to to embroider that but yeah i think he's quite cute it's friday and it's saturday sunday what it's friday friday happy dance friday um i'm out and about as you can see 
I did just have to take Evie to the vets. Um, she has got a urine infection. And they also discovered she's got a heart murmur. So, whoopee do. Um, yeah, she's on antibiotics for her urine infection for two weeks. So hopefully that will clear that up. And the heart murmur, they were talking about getting a specialist in to scan her heart. And I said, she's 14 in July. I said, and how bad is the murmur? And she said, it's not very bad at all. It's just like the beginnings. So I said, well, let, you know, let's just keep an eye on it. She said, well, we'll see you again in six months and we'll review it then to see whether she needs, you know, medication or not. Or like at home she said if you when she's in a really deep sleep we can um count how many breaths she does a minute she said that it should be about 30 for a dog um but if it's like 60 consistently then she might need medication but anyway evie honestly <laughs> there's always something going on with that dog but she just keeps bouncing back i love her so much anyway I'll tell you what has arrived um, today is the Outlander. I bought the season one and season two of Outlander on DVD because it was cheaper than getting it on Amazon Prime. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to starting that today as well, which would be nice because it's miserable today. It was trying to snow earlier. I swear it was trying to snow. Anyway, I better get going and then get back to Evie. Eve, we're home. We're home. Should we go in? Okay. Right. I I want you to try something. I'm off already on this one. I want you to try something. If you, like me, struggle with daily tasks, be it making a bed, be it putting some washing away, put on a podcast that makes you laugh. Especially for me is Rob and Josh. Rob Beckett and Josh Widdicombe. I know I keep mentioning it and I should have shares in their podcast. <laughs> Let me just go back a bit. I want to play you a bit. It's just had me laugh so much. Oh, wow. Oh, so, wow. Essentially, I think I might need Michael to move in and just... <laughs> <laughs> sniff out your conversation. <laughs> yeah, tap me on the shoulder and just like, yeah, don't bother with that one, right? Don't bother with that one. More stuff. Also, you need to explain yourself, Josh. You're, you're doing that, uh, who do you think you are? And you're related to Henry VIII. The ultimate stiff neck. Henry VIII, <laughs> and explains your terrible views on women. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a stiff neck, you'd need a stiff neck to survive it. Exactly. You know what I mean? You're, <laughs> you're great 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 man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Old Sally stiff neck, your great great man, couldn't get the blade through. Just try it, okay? I'm going to link... I'll try and link it in the description for you. But even if that one doesn't make you laugh, try one that does make you Look up comedy podcasts because it's all that gets me through doing these monotonous jobs. I promise it does help. Right, just cooking my lunch. I'm having um, poached egg on toast. What time is it? Hubbard's one. Not too bad. I'm going to leave it here because I'm going to eat me poached egg and I'm going to watch the first thingy of Outlander if my DVD player starts to work. I think we need a new DVD player, but never mind. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this week. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And I will see you all on Wednesday for a very special PIP video. Okay, take care. Mwah. Bye.